So what happens if your power goes out? What happens if you don't have a way to power the critical things in your house? You can't let all that food go bad. How can you immediately get power back to those things? We're going to use a simple 12 volt battery hooked to an inverter. Can a single 12 volt battery help us in a situation like this? We're going to test that today using a 1000 watt inverter. How are we going to keep our refrigerator going? What if it's a prolonged power outage and we don't have any lights? Will these two simple items here be able to keep our food cold and our phones charged? We're about to find out. We're going to be testing this 12 volt battery by Power Queen. This is going to be realistic, real-time testing, and we're going to be able to see exactly how long it will run it. So we're here in the kitchen about to do this test. Let's take a look at some of these prices. The Power Queen battery is going to set you back at about $179. This is a 1000 watt inverter by DeWalt. This thing is right at $200. There are many cheaper 1000 watt inverters out there. It's just going to depend on how cheap you want to go. Let me show you how simple this is going to be to power up your refrigerator during a power outage. It's going to be as simple as taking your inverter and hooking it to the battery. So we ran an extension cord to the refrigerator and we also have this watt meter. This watt meter is going to read exactly how many watts that we are pulling from this inverter to run this refrigerator. Okay, now that we have everything wired up, we're just going to go ahead and power the inverter on. Okay, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but it says that the refrigerator is running around 170 watts. Okay, the time now is 5 p.m. Let's see just how long this thing will run. It still says it's running right around 167 watts, so we're going to come back here in a little while and check on it. Also, since we're simulating a power outage, at night we're going to also want to have a light where we can see what we're doing. So let's go ahead and hook this light in also. Just pin it right here above us. We may only run the light three or four hours tonight, simulating what we would do in those type of circumstances. I don't know if you can see on the screen here, but our inverter right now is showing our voltage to be at 13.1. So it's right around 5.15 p.m. now, so we're going to come back in a few hours and see what's going on. Okay, here we are back here three hours later. It's right at 8 p.m. Let's go ahead and check and see how the battery voltage is doing. All right, looks like about 13.3 on the voltage. It looks like it's in between cycles because our watts is actually zero right now. That's actually gonna help our battery last a lot longer. Uh-oh, it just kicked in. Okay, there it is again, pushing 168 watts. The thermostat will shut it on and off when it gets to that temperature, and we call that cycling. I'm actually guessing that this refrigerator could go a whole 24 hours. That's just a guess, we'll see how it does. Remember, we're just running on one single 12 volt battery. Okay, we're back over here checking on the inverter. It's right around midnight. And for the last four hours, we've had a single light bulb hooked to it also. So yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe this thing's going to run for two days straight. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn the light off and call it a night. And we'll check on this thing in the morning. It is actually 12 p.m. the next day. The refrigerator has been running off of the battery for around 19 hours. Also, if you were wondering why we have the refrigerator and freezer here completely empty, I did this in case this thing shut off in the middle of the night so we didn't destroy any food. It is between cycles right now because the watts on the watt meter are showing zero, but with the battery sitting at 12.8 volts, when we look at the battery chart for lithium batteries on the voltage, 12.8 volts means that there's only 20% of the battery left. This means that we have used 80% of this battery. And the refrigerator has just kicked back in. Shows it's only pulling right around 143 watts. I don't know how much longer we have until the battery management system that is inside of this battery cuts the battery off completely. But we're definitely getting close to the end of the power cycle of this battery. So yeah, at this point we're waiting for it to shut down. We'll come back here and check on it probably in about another 20 minutes. Okay, there it is. It's 4 p.m. and it has finally shut down. This single battery here and the inverter ran this refrigerator for 23 hours. It is amazing the power we're able to pull out of a single 12 volt battery. So that was a pretty cool test. Let's see if the inverter will power up at all. Okay. The inverter did power back up. So my guess is when the compressor kicked on from the refrigerator this last time, it was too much power for the inverter to actually push it. Let's see if we can see what the voltage of the battery is here. There it is, 11.2 volts. This battery is considered basically completely discharged. So something like this may be a great idea for somebody that cannot afford solar panels. Having a couple pieces of equipment like this stored up just for backup power could be a smart idea. You need to have a lithium battery charger so you can charge your battery back up after you use it in a situation like this. If you are interested in a Power Queen battery like this, I will leave a link in the description for the battery. And I'll also leave a link in the description for the DeWalt converter. So I like doing testing of real life scenarios like this. I hope you found the video interesting. Go ahead and comment if you have other ideas or better ideas that may work just as well.